to overcome it. Yes. May the Lord God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. We're going to speak to you this morning using the title, The Value of Faith. Amen. The Value of Faith. Moses sent 12 men into the land of Canaan to check out the land and bring a report to the people. Ten of, ten of the uh, twelve men came back and said the land was too difficult to conquer. Caleb and Joshua, however, a man had a different report. It was a report of faith. Unbelief, however, reigned in the camp, and the report of faith was rejected. Here we are. Will we look at the report of faith and see of its uh, features? The child of God must value faith. Now someone might ask the question, what does it mean to value uh, faith? Well, to value faith means to uh, know the worth of faith. Yes. Faith is more valuable than silver yes. or gold. Yes, sir. Without faith, the Bible says, it is impossible to please God. All Christians, a man, are, are called to live by faith. The unsaved world does not understand the true uh, Bible faith, probably, probably because it sees so little value of faith in action in the church today. <laughs> faith is not some uh, feeling that we manufacture. It is our total response to what God has revealed to yes. us yes. in his word. Right, Do you believe mm -hmm. in the word of God? Mm -hmm. There are three words in Hebrews chapter 11 summarize what true Bible faith is. Now we have substance, evidence, and witness. The word translated substance means to stand under mm -hmm. and to support. Faith is to the Christian what the foundation of a house is. That uh, it gives confidence and assurance that he will stand. Yes. So you might say faith is the confidence of the things hoped for. When we believe, uh, when a believer believes he has faith, it is God's way of giving him confidence and assurance that what is promised will be experienced. Yes. Amen. The word faith, the word evidence means Conviction. This is the inward conviction from uh, God that what he has promised, he will perform. Yeah. The presence of God give, uh, uh, given faith is one of uh, our hearts. Yeah. It's conviction yeah. enough that he will keep his word. Let me just repeat that. The presence of God given faith in one's heart is conviction enough that he will uh, keep his word. Witness, the King James Version, is obtained by a good report. It is an important word in Hebrews 11. It occurs not only in verse 2, 
but uh, twice in verse 4. Once in verse 5 and uh, uh, once in 39, verse 39. The summary in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, calls this list of men and women so great a cloud of witnesses. They are witnesses to us because God witnessed to them. Yeah. In each example cited, God gives witness to that, uh, that person's faith. Mm -hmm. This witness was his divine approval yeah. on their lives and ministry. That's right. The writer of Hebrews made it clear that faith is and then a very practical thing. In spite of what unbelievers say, faith enables us to understand what God does. Faith enables us to see what others cannot see. Yes. Therefore, faith enables us to do what others cannot do. That's right. People love at these uh, great men and women when they step out by faith. Mm -hmm. But God was with them and enabled them to uh, succeed to his glory. Mm -hmm. Faith enabled the believer, the believing soul to treat the future as present mm -hmm. and uh, visible as seen. Yes. Faith also bring peace with God and others. Yes, Caleb still uh, the people. Why did the people need to be still now? Because of the report of unbelief, yes. which was given first, had upset the people. But Caleb spoke by faith. Yes. Faith marvelously steals the soul of man. Yeah. When trouble overwhelms us, mm -hmm. faith can bring a calmness that will calm the most upset soul. Yeah. Especially does faith bring calmness in salvation, Romans 5, verse 1. The world today, amen, now, uh, lies in great unrest. Uh -huh. Unbelief does not bring tranquility. The peace sought here is much more than the mere absence of conflict. Mm -hmm. It su suggests completeness, yeah. health, justice, yeah. prosperity, and protection. Yes, the world cannot provide peace. That's right. Real peace comes from faith in God. Yes, because the, he alone embodies all the characteristics yes. of peace. Yes. To find peace of mind and peace with others, you must find peace with God. Yes. Come on. The end results of the Holy Spirit's work in our lives are deep and lasting. Yes. Yes. Amen. Uh, uh, unlike worldly peace, which is defined as uh, the absence of peace, but this peace is confident and sure in any yes. circumstances. Yes, yes. With God's peace, we have no need to fear mm -hmm. the present or the future. Yes. If your life is full of stress, Allow God to fill your life yes. with his spirit. Yes. Amen. Peace in his future kingdom. Mm -hmm. Obeying God is the first step mm -hmm. on the path to peace. Yes. Yeah. Sleep does not come easy during crisis. Mm -hmm. David could have uh, had sleepless nights when his son Absalom, mm -hmm. a man rebelled and gathered an army to kill him. Mm -hmm. But he slept peacefully, mm -hmm. a man uh, even during rebellion. Mm -hmm. What made the difference? David cried out to the Lord, and the Lord heard his cry. Yes, he did. The assurance of answered prayer brings peace. Yes. It is easier to sleep when we have full assurance that God is God. 
control of our circumstances. Yes, amen. If you are lying awake at night, mm. worrying about circumstances, you uh, can't change. Uh, give it to God yes. and thank him that he is in control. Amen. God is in control yes. of every situation yes. that we might confront. Yes, we just need to uh, rely and trust in God, yes. knowing that God has our best interest in charge. Not saying that the hardship won't come our way, oh, yeah. because God allowed our things to happen to us. Amen. He allowed it to happen. Amen. To Job mm -hmm. in our Job's days. Mm -hmm. Amen. But God was with uh, Job. Yes, he was. And Job uh, stood the test. Yes. All the things that happened in Job's life, he did not uh, fail God. Mm -hmm. Faith produces passion. Yeah. Won't be before you much long. For we are well able to overcome it. Yeah. When faith is present, mm -hmm. it will inspire honest yeah. and prompt action. Yes, sir. Caleb's faith gave him zeal. Mm -hmm. He had no use for procrastination. Right. Mm -hmm. But he urged prompt action. Mm -hmm. Faith stilled the heart mm -hmm. into action for God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The critics who lived in unbelief mm. will criti criticize this zeal mm. and also oppose it mm. and call it fantasism mm. and other reproachful uh, names. Mm. Unlike belief, uh, unbelief kills zeal for the things of the Lord. Unbelief can get you excited about earthly things. Mm. But when God is involved, yes. amen, unbelief loses its zeal. Mm. Zeal is one thing that the uh, church should be full of. Mm. Yes. Zeal is valuable as long as it is based on humility. Yes. Rather than living by faith in God, the Jews established customs yeah. and tradition yeah. to try to make themselves acceptable in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. But human effort, mm -hmm. no matter how sincere, mm -hmm. can never substitute for righteousness mm -hmm. that God offers us by faith. Faith gives mm -hmm. the child of God power. Yes, it does. We are well able to overcome it. Faith is where the power is. Yes. Mm. It would take great strength and power to conquer King. Mm -hmm. And it, if the Israelites look at their own strength and power, yes. they would they would and did wilt before the difficulty. Yes. But faith looks at the greatness of God, uh -huh. the greatness of God's power, and sees him, the ability, sees him in the ability mm -hmm. to conquer, no matter how difficult the task may be. Mm -hmm. Caleb believed that God was on their side, yes, and that would enable them to conquer the land of Cain. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelief looks at amen, its power, which is only weakness at its best. Mm -hmm. Ten spies had an evil report here. Mm -hmm. To believe. We, can, we can't name one of the ten spies, mm -hmm. but all of us know mm -hmm. the names of Joshua yeah. and Caleb. Yes. Mm -hmm. The two that believe and uh, trusted in God. Yes. And we close, saints. Ten spies saw the foes. Yes. 
Yeah. The enemy Amen. of God. Joshua and Caleb saw the fruit of the land. Yeah. The ten spies saw the giants. Joshua and Caleb mm -hmm. saw God Almighty. God. The ten spies saw the walls and their mm -hmm. faith crumble. Yeah. Joshua and Caleb had faith yes. and knew that the walls would crumble. Yes. It's a matter of perspective that we will have faith in that point mm -hmm. we feel. That's right. The ten spies had faith in the giants because they feared them. But Joshua and Caleb feared God and therefore had faith in him. Yes. Having faith in God yes. makes you a winner yes. every time yes. you face the enemy yes. of God. Yes. We will face God's enemy every day of our lives yes. as long as we are here on this earth. Yes. Yes. But faith brings about uh, uh, people that wins yes. for God yes. every time. Thank God for his word. Yeah.